What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome to Train Sim World, the Great Western Railway. Uh, we're in a HST, a Class 43 uh, high speed train. <laughs> Can go 125 miles an hour and we're at Redding. And I'm going to quickly get this going, by which I mean I'm going to work out how to get this going. Um, I know a bit about trains, but not a whole heck of a lot. We don't have AWS, I know that much. Uh, Got to turn that. Put it in forward. This is our brake here. That's off. Brake pressure is fine. And now, hopefully... Can we go? Throttle one. Let's see if we start. Yes, we're moving. Uh, headlights, headlights, headlights. Um, um, hmm. Uh, it would be really useful if I could read that manual. Um, is it these? Yes, they're on. I think. Nope, that's not on. Okay. Headlights. Ah. Night lamps and markers. That sounds... Yep, that looks about right to me. So yeah, we're in Train Sim World. I just bought this game. God, that's tripping me out doing that. And, uh... <laughs> I've no idea what I'm doing. Well, kind of. London Paddington. So we need to get to London Paddington by 8.35. So I'm going to accelerate. I need to put my wipers on. Um, uh, got a feeling this one of these. Why? No windscreen DI, so wipers. No, parked, that's not right. On. Boom! Ah, oh, I'm good at this. I am pretty good at this. So, 8.35, that is where we need to get to Pandan. I am going to turn the speed markers off, I think. Actually, no, I'm going to leave them on because I'll, I'm lost without them, I'll be honest. So yeah, that is, um, that's my introduction. I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm in a new game that I haven't played before, so why not? This game was on Steam sale, and I decided to buy it. And I thought it'd be a nice little cool game to play and do a few videos on. Those rain effects are pretty cool. Basic, but cool. Um, because my work schedule has changed, something I've alluded to in the past, like recently, um, which is something I will fill you in more about during this journey. And uh, it's just a good time to have a chat with you guys. And um, my, my idea was that I can't always play OCRP because the server really comes alive and all the good stuff happens at night for, well, late evening for America, which, because I'm in the UK and I'm ahead in time, that's like 3 o'clock in the morning, and if i got to get up at 6 for work, that's not going to work. So I figured I could play an offline game like this one, and uh, at least then you guys can still get videos. At least that's the theory. <laughs> right, I feel, yep, we can get up to full speed now. So yeah, I'm going to leave the speed markers on because that's the hard bit but I am going to keep an eye on the signals <laughs> so a uh, little review of this game I guess I should do that graphics really good like 10 out of 10 these trains go past my house this line in fact goes past my house uh, I see it a lot and I can tell you this is a pretty good representation I do prefer the old blue livery these GWR trains had though I will say that and in case you guys are wondering, no, I'm not a massive train head. I don't actually know that much about trains, I just, I'm driving one. That's probably dangerous. So yeah, we was at Redden then, we're on our way to London Paddington, which is the terminus of this line. I was just inside a carriage, that's good. And uh, it's pretty cool. So, work. What's been happening? Why have my videos stopped recently? Um... Simple explanation, I guess. I can't go into too much detail for pretty much legal reasons. But my work, I'm contracted to 35 hours per week 
5 over 7, so that means I can work 5 days out of the 7 in the week. And before that was fine, it was 1 in the afternoon to late at night, and I can stay on or start earlier if I need to do overtime, and Monday to Friday. But now, due to, <laughs> well, I suspect Brexit, but let's just say financial reasons, they've invoked our contract and have said basically that we need to work potentially weekends, so five out of seven still, but it could be any day in the week. So that's changing, and also our times are changing. So we're doing 10 a.m. till uh, 5 p.m. now, or sometimes 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. They're trialing it to see how it works, and I can tell you that it's a disaster, but they don't seem to like that. But regardless of that, that is why I haven't been doing as many videos recently. Because I've been busy trying to deal with that, my sleep schedule's been all over the place, and it, it's just not great. Let's have a little look around. So that is why I've been a li little bit lacking on videos. I am trying my best, honestly, but sometimes... I mean, real life has to come first, doesn't it? Oh, I do love this, the graphics in this game. But one thing I will criticise it for, frame rates. They're not great. Like, I'm running a 1080 Ti graphics card, an enthusiast, enthusiast level graphics card, it should be running this well. But as you can see, I'm getting like 40 frames a second, well, let's, get, let's say 50, it's sticking up a 40s to 50, which is playable, but if your computer's not that good, then you're going to have issues. But then, that is a compromise that's worth making for good graphics, and of course you can turn the graphics down. But one thing I do want to say about this game, and this feature, I've watched reviews on this game by other YouTubers and people like that, and something they seem to neglect to mention, which is actually my favourite feature in this game, I've seen it in other games where it's never been as well implemented as this. You can see now I'm looking around, using my mouse, and that little dot in the middle of the screen is where I'm looking. It's a good system. But how do I toggle switches? You can't. Well, you do. Right click and it toggles between moving the mouse and moving the camera. And I know that's really simple, but honestly, it's so intuitive that it's genius. It's like driving along, driving along. Oh, I need to brake. I'll just look down here and use the brake. Or the throttle. It's a really good system. <laughs> that is. That's probably my favourite feature in this game. It's so intuitive. Like, you can just toggle back and forth all day long. I tend to leave it in one or the other. I usually leave it looking around so I can look at the other trains go past, but it is so easy to switch between. It's just a right click. So yeah, that is, that's one thing I will say about this game, that it did really, really well. Do you know, surprisingly, I think one of the reasons I like trains... I don't love trains, but I certainly appreciate them. And I know this is weird. But, my first PC was a laptop. Oh god, I'm getting close to the speed limit now. And my laptop would struggle to run games, but the game it ran really well was Trains 2006. Don't judge me. <laughs> my brother bought it for me a fiver, for a fiver from game. And I loved, they had a, like a way you could build tracks. And it was just so cool to build my own little map. And I just spent most of my time gaming on that game because it just, it was so awesome. I loved building my little maps. And uh, I guess that love carried on, even though, honestly, I prefer Trains 2006 to any other train simulator, but I lost my disc. Just duck under the bridges there. I need to keep an eye on the signals, that's what I need to do. So yeah, that's, um, I think that's why I like train simulators. They're just so intuitive, and I like planes as well, I like plane simulators. But evidently I'm not very good at them. System zone numbers. Ooh, am I on ya? Where's my town? Cardiff, that's near me. Nah, mine's not big enough to be on there, that's a shame. It'd be by there. Just under Newcastle. Right, anyway. Uh, question time. I wanted to ask you guys a question. And, um... <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Ooh, that's a yellow light. It's just something I was curious about. You know the classic, oh, that's one in a million. 
I want to know what your guys' one in a million story is, if you have one. Because I find them really cool reading, I read quite a lot of them on Reddit. And I'll tell you mine. Not so much happened to me, but something that is so extreme that I think is worth mentioning. That is another... I need a break hard. No, not full service. Let's go for break three. Ah, oh, it's gone down now. God damn it. Okay, let's just leave the brakes off. And coast. Yeah, my one in a million ch story, and I would honestly go as far to say it's more than that. It's one in a billion. And it regards my brother and my cousin. So, I'm the youngest of four. I've got three older brothers. And the one who's next up from me, age-wise, is called Alex. And when my mum was pregnant, my auntie was pregnant at the same time. And on the same day, within a an hour of each other, they both went into labour. Their waters broke. They both called an ambulance and got rushed to the same hospital. They were put in the same ward in the same hospital opposite each other. And they went into labour at the same time. They then gave birth just two minutes apart, my brother and my cousin were born, Alex and Shannon, my cousin. Which in itself is remarkable. They were born within two minutes of each other, two cousins. It's crazy. But it gets weirder. You see, both of them have six birthmarks. <laughs> and this is the bit that really blows my mind. They have six birthmarks, uh, one on the back of each ear, one on each knee, and one on each foot. And that's for both of them. And their birthmarks are in the same place and they look just like each other. Like, the birthmarks, not the... My cousin and my brother look nothing alike. Otherwise, I'd be convinced they were twins. <laughs> but I honestly think, like, when you consider the chance of you being born at a specific time, that in alone is one in a million. But then to have the same birthmarks? That's just mind-boggling. So that is my one in a million story. And if you guys have another crazy story like that, let me know. That would be pretty sick. I read one um, on Reddit the other day which was a guy who went to a high school in, U in uh, Yuma, which is where the famous Air Force base is. Right, I, need, I genuinely do need a break now. And um, <laughs> when he was in school one day, about five o'clock in the morning, the security guard went in, or the principal, whatever, whoever unlocks the school, and uh, there was a literal bomb on the back guard, uh, back on the front yard, sorry. What it was is one of the planes was doing uh, tests on dropping bombs for accuracy, ironically, and a bomb fell in the school. I'd say that's one in a million. Is that one yellow or two? That's one. So the way lights work, you have red, yellow, double yellow, and green. That's a red light. I don't know if that's for us, though. No, it's not. Uh, these mini lights, hopefully they're not for us. I'm going to take the brake off and just coast. We're doing 30 miles per hour. Uh, we might be changing track. No, we're not. Yeah, I'm just going to coast until a light comes into view. These rain effects, other than the, the fact that the, they're very lines, like straight lines, they're actually pretty decent, I will say that. I'm just zooming in to try and see what's ahead of me. Because if you run a signal at danger, it's called a SPAD. Signal passed at danger. And I believe that's instant fail. And I don't want to do that, because I'd be a waste of a video. So, I'm hoping not to get a SPAD. There's our target over there, 18 miles away. Come on. That's not for us, that light. So this is the uh, Great Western Main Line. Goes from London to... Where's it go? I think it officially ends at Bristol. But it does split. And half it goes down to Cornwall. And like Penzance and all that. And the other half goes to where I live on the Great Western Main Line. Turns into the South Wales Main Line. Crosses under the River Severn into Wales. And uh, I'm not sure what that green signal means. That's not a green light. And uh, ends at Swansea. Right, we do actually have a green light. That's good. 
So I'm going to accelerate now. Max throttle to accelerate through here. I was rather hoping to uh, have to do 125 miles an hour all the way along, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, green light, that's good. But yeah, I I, honestly, I really do like this game. I saw um, Squirrel play it originally, and I know it's not a new game, it's about a year old now. But um, I just wanted to play it. It looked pretty cool. It was on sale. It was £16, down from 40 in Steam. And I thought, you know what? Why not? It's a good game. So uh, that's why I bought it. And uh, it's basically the replacement for Train Simulator. And one thing I will say that's really cool, unlike Train Simulator, this has... How did it... I don't even know how to describe it. Basically a real-world timetable. You can hop in. This is what I do now. This is a real train service. What you do is you hop in, and it knows what time of day it is for you. And it will find a, ser a service that runs on that route at that time of day, give or take a few minutes. And you can take over it. <laughs> so, I, I took over one that was 8 o'clock this morning, I did, because it looked pretty cool. But... Honestly, that's it is amazing. You can take over a real service. You can do freight. You can do passenger. They've got the routes I've got is Germany. I'm not sure what that route's called. It's a word I can't pronounce. New York, CSX Heavy Hall, which is like a CSX freight train, and the Great Western Railway, where I can drive a freight train, a stopper service, or this one, which is the Intercity Express. And this one, something I find odd, is this one, you can see in the top corner, is not stopping at Slough. I don't know why, they usually do, but I saw that it wasn't, so I thought, yeah, I'll drive that one. Because that's just an added step of difficulty if I stop at Slough. One thing I don't like with the camera, if you're right to the side, it jumps around poles and things. I'd rather it just like that. It's quite trippy at stations and things. I'd rather it just went through them, so to speak. But if I go above this gantry, I'll probably... Oh, no. Gantries doesn't affect it. Right, let's have a look at camera angles. So, one is that one. Two is that one. Three. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can see why people would use that one. Four. Nothing. Five. No. Six. Seven. Eight. Ooh, that's eight. Come on, give us the horn. Nope, eight is just... <laughs> the train went... Uh, nine is the mini-map. So that's where we are, and that's where we're going, over there. Oh, that's the pause. There's a stop, but that's the other train you can drive there. God, the looking around's annoying me because it keeps jumping like that. I might just stay in the cab most of the journey, that's one of the reasons I was doing that. These pylons here, um, there should be cables on them, but there's not. Basically, the government in a kind of, oh, look, we need to go green, we're killing the environment kind of way, basically went, let's electrify all the trains. <laughs> so, they just put a lot of money, but less money than was actually needed into uh, the Great Western Main Line, said, let's electrify it. And then kind of ran out of money, went over budget. They're still doing it, but it wasn't a success. <laughs> and they've put these pylons up ready. They've got as far as Newport now, where I live, and Cardiff, I believe, but it's not done all the way yet. So maybe in Train Sim World 2.0 or whatever the next one's called, they will have that, but not in this one. That is a weird signal over there. Two double yellows, ne two yellows next to each other. This train is remarkably quiet, considering the massive engine and even the ear protection sign there says a lot. In engine room only, do not wear ear protectors in the driving compartment. Ah, that makes me think it's insulated. This here, I believe, is the Heathrow Connect service. Don't quote me on that, but that would explain why it's electrified now. Because those electric trains were pre-existing. 
I think that's the train service that connects Heathrow Airport with central London, though. But again, don't quote me on that. 8.35. Oh, God, we've only got 10 minutes. Mm, nah, I think... Un yeah, I think it's an understatement to say we're behind schedule. 11 miles, 10 minutes. Oh, they were saying that. We're doing 120 miles an hour. It depends how fast or how slow the speed limit reductions come into effect. I hope it's a very... I hope it's, like, sudden. Like, we do 120 until we're about two miles out. And then it just drops down. Hey, hit 125 miles an hour. I got an achievement for that. And I'm speeding. I think four holds it pretty well at this speed. Throttle notch four. It only goes up to five, which is unusual. Most trains, no. Nope. Let's just coast. We're speeding too much. Ah, uh, we're going downhill, that's why. But yeah, most trains have eight throttle notches. This one has five. I don't know why, it just does. Going through a lovely station here. Oh, I got no chance of reading. No, I, no, no, don't ask what station that was. I have no idea. I didn't have a chance to read it. All right, we're doing 124 now. Let's apply throttle notch four. See if that holds it. Board up the map there. Ah, oh, I'm pressing buttons. I don't like this. You, go away. Oh, there's another um, HST. Forgot what they were called then. Yeah, 125. Okay, I'm going to drop it down to throttle notch 3. No, I'm just, I'm just going to have to keep coasting and adding power. I haven't at all been paying attention to the signals, I will be completely honest. That's green. That's okay. If they're green, that's fine. Try and hide the mouse so it doesn't annoy you guys too much. In fact, I can just... Oh, speed reduction. Ah, we're... Yeah, that's fine. If I... I, feel, I don't even think... Do we need to... Yeah, we need to break, but not much. No, not three. Ugh, give me... Yes. That one. Give me that one. <laughs> yeah, we'll drop down to 100 in time. Got another train going past here. It must be rush hour, but that makes sense at half eight in the morning. Trains departing for uh, Bristol, Southwest, and Wales. I believe this is slow. It's about the right distance out to be slow. That's really annoying because that's mapped to my um, mute and unmute buttons. We've dropped too much speed. Had to clear my throat then, so I muted my mic so you guys don't have to hear me going <coughs> choking to death. 100, yeah, we're well below that. That's fine. Let's speed back up again. We don't want to lose too much speed because, again, we're on a timer. We've only got like six and a half. Nope, seven and. No, yeah, six and a half minutes. That's not good. 50 miles an hour. Sugar. I don't know how... I, I think we're going to be late. I don't know how we fell behind, but we did. Although, four miles? Uh, I don't know. If we judge our braking right, we could do this. I don't know that we'd have to average, like, 60 miles an hour almost. Actually, no, we wouldn't. Yeah, we might do this. I'm hoping, okay? I'm, I'm praying for this. Still a green light. The green lights are helping. A lot. Dropping down below 60, uh, 70 now, sorry. 65. Yeah, our speed's in check, that's fine. I think I massively misjudged that braking. There's a big ass depot on our, our right there. And our left, that's even bigger. Is that. What's it called? Royal Oak Common, I think? I'm not really sure. I, I'm trying to sound like I know what I'm on about, but I really don't, so... Don't be too harsh on me. Another green light up there. We're 0.9 miles out from the 50. I'm just gonna... Eh, 
do I play now? I'm trying to save time. What do I do? It's only 10 miles an hour. Surely we can lose that. Yeah, half a mile out. I don't like that brake control much. That's a bit annoying. Getting ready to uh, turn it back off. Come on, 50... No, 55, 54, 600 yards out, 53, that'll do. Don't want to get caught speeding. That's bad. Speed, bad. 43193, is that the miles this has done? No. No, I know what that is. It's a class 43, number 193. Uh, we're a mile over, come on, drop that out. If you want a mile over, I'm not going to worry. See, it dropped, that's fine. Not going to worry about that, you wouldn't get fired over that. Again, I haven't been paying attention to the signals recently. Hopefully they're not red in front of us. It would really suck to get this far and go for a red light. 1.8 miles out. Oh, this is close. Ooh, that's red. Nope, we got a green. We're all good, homie. I don't know, I, f I feel it should be busier than this. This is like a quarter of the country's commute right here. It should be busier than this. 50 limit, we're already doing 50, that's fine. Mile and a half out. My goal is to enter the platform at about 20. That's my goal. We got a green down there, that's good. I wonder what platform we'll be on. I genuinely have no idea. That's not something I would know. I've never actually been to Paddington. In fact, I've only been to London three times in my entire life. Once when I was two, a seagull stole my brother's donut. Oh, God, that... I, I forgot how to move then. Can we get down to 40 in time? Come on, train. Once when I went to Wembley, that's the second time I went to London, for um, my local football team got into the finals for something. I don't know, I don't watch football. And um, recently I went on a road trip there with my best mate, my flatmate. So, uh, yeah. Oh, we got a yellow coming up down there. I'm feeling now would be a good time to lose that extra 10 miles an hour. We got two, less than two and a half minutes. I don't think we're going to do this. We won't be, like, stupidly late, but we're going to be late. I'm going to start slowing the braking down now. Yeah, I reckon we'll get in at about 37, maybe. Okay, yeah. Lose those extra two miles an hour. 26. 25. Those are really distracting, and I wish they, like, disappeared when he was, like, 100 yards out. Because it is annoying. It would be nice if they, like, disappeared a certain distance when you're, like, 100 or yards out, say, 50 yards, but the way it is, they go right underneath you, I think. I don't know, we'll get to see that now. We're under the speed limit. In fact, I'm going to apply the brakes, because that's the platform right there. I don't want to come in too fast. And I'm also going to leave the, the uh, camera so I can move freely, just so I can brake if need be, or release the brakes. Yeah, let's cruise in at about 13. That's fine. That'll do. There's another HST there. So this is Paddington. Obviously, this is named after Paddington the Bear. Okay, that cam that's really annoying me, that camera angle. I'm sorry. That's the, my biggest criticism of this game. That camera angle is extremely annoying, and it does not help with cinematic shots. Right, I really need to start braking. Uh, is that too light? No, no. Drop the speed down to five. It's kind of hard judging out the corner of my screen and braking at the same time. So I'm thinking I'm going to get to about here and put the initial brake on. And then I can increase that or decrease it. Do you know what? I think this is pretty good, the way I'm coming in here. No, full brake. No, not full brake, that deducts points. 
Objective complete. Yes, homie. Unlock doors. Um. Yeah, sure. The conductor usually does this, but shh, what's that? Nope. 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 It's fine. I'll find out how to do it. Nope. Let's not hit the emergency brake. Parking brake? Nah, let's not. What's that? No, that's the light. Oh, that's cool. That tells you what the lights are. Well, no. Um, I've got a plan. Stand up. Um, is it even in the train? Is it not? Door. Um. <laughs> Give me a minute, guys. Um, can I not just... See, the door's unlocked. <sighs> What's that? No, let's not touch that. There goes that guy. He could have helped me. Sit in driver's seat. Hey! Test. Unlock left. Yes! I did it. I did a thing. Even though you could literally open the door. <laughs> it's loading passengers. Let's have a run round. Oh, a shift is run. That's cool. That's a lot of people. Platform four, we're on. There's our beautiful train. A beautiful, beautiful train. Right there. That's a pretty cool screenshot, don't you think? Right. Run round, run round. There's hardly any train here. There's one. There's a stopper. Right, anyway, don't forget, guys, to um, let me know in the comments your one in a million experience, if you have one. Don't forget, while you're down there, to like this video. Through. If you press the like button three times, it's magical. Something magical happens to someone somewhere in the world. Be a good person and press that like button three times. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. I'm not asking a lot of you, I promise. And uh, don't forget also to join my Discord, Lock Doors. I can do this. So you've got to sit there, press Tab, boom. And we got lots of points and drove 35.81 miles. But yeah, don't forget while you're down there to um, check out the links in the description for my Discord. I forgot what I was saying then. And I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.